sometimes the measure of true friendship isn't what you have in common, but what sets you apart. Many kids might be bitter, you know, with, with, a, with an issue like he's had all his life. From birth, Bryce Duncan was different. One leg was shorter than the other. By the age of two, he lived with a wooden leg. Well, actually, we met over Connect Four. But to Ben Schoolcraft, he was just another kid who liked what he liked. He's my third brother, pretty much. Inseparable, they did what boys do. Things Bryce was told he couldn't do. A specialist come in, told us that our son wouldn't play sports, wouldn't be a runner. I see my son now, and I was like, He's played every sport that he's wanted to, you know, and he's been active. Bryce's determination inspired those around him. He's just so bright and exuberant. The smile. I think it's the smile. Yeah. He's always got a smile on his face. But there was something Bryce still couldn't do. Something no matter how hard he tried or determined he was, his physical limitations were just that. We tried to fit up a bike to where he could ride it. Just couldn't. It was too lopsided. Just couldn't get it to work. They ride bikes around there are wood trails, and I always had to run after them. See him limping and whatever, and you wish he had something better. So it got his friend, well, his friend's brother, thinking. Well, why is it a problem? What can we do to fix it? An engineering student at Purdue University, Brian Schoolcraft, not only noticed Bryce's problem, he studied it. And bend him. Researched it. It was really getting his knee to where it's supposed to be. And when he saw there was no other option. Here, here. Inside here. He invented it. The trick about this thing is really all in this pivot. Um, As part of a senior project, Brian put together a team of students who sought a way to help Bryce by building a new, more flexible leg. Puts his pivots in the right spot so he can ride a bike and it, his, his leg behaves like normal. While the concept seems simple, the process was something out of the space program, literally. It's a four bar linkage that attaches onto a person. In less than a year, Bryce went from limping on the basketball court to moving like a pro. It made me really happy and excited because uh, it made me walk better. When I sit down, I can actually bend my knees now. But the true test, when his feet hit the pedals... Words can't explain it. ...and the rubber met the road. Things are a lot better for Bryce because of what Brian did. He's a genius. <laughs> At the age of 13, Bryce Duncan did something even he never thought he could. He rode a bike for the very first time. The story doesn't end here. The project that allows Bryce to do a better job of keeping up with his friends also won first prize in an engineering contest at Purdue. With it, a $1,500 prize that Brian and his team donated back to Bryce and his family. Bryce deserves it. He's a, he's a great little kid. So how often do you ride your bike now? Every day. His moving story is about determination, but it's also about how true friendship can make all the difference. Chris Kirshner, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.